Okay. Fun fact, you cannot damage him. At all. You have to run, you have to carry Tails with you. I remember uh, when I played, when I actually played this uh, the first time through, I died so many times in this part of the game. It is... It's difficult. Like there, that can kill you if you let it. And so here we go, we gotta charge forward. Like that first part is just so much trial and error. Because it will, it will kill you. It will absolutely just kill you again and again. We're looking pretty good so far, though. And you can't let him kill you there. Yep, you have to jump. I think it's just interesting how you're carrying wounded tails the whole time. And, okay. Gotta keep moving, too, or else he's just gonna... He's gonna be able to destroy Tails and I, and... Oh! Yeah, because things like that will happen. Uh... I suppose we'll pick up to where we left off, because you don't need to see me die 11 million times. Alright. See you then. Oh! Okay. Oh, boy. Alright, say we're moving along pretty well now. Oh! You can't do that, though. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Alright, here we go again. Let's be a little bit more careful this time. Like, yeah, there that's the actual platform you have to land on. And, oh, god. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can't hit Eggman there. Uh, I love how he's being so patient, too. How patient uh, Eggman is being until he has to kill you. Interestingly enough. Oh! Are we trying to jump over this thing? No. Come on. I think there's a way to jump on top here. Yep, there is. Okay. I got it. Other problem, too, with this stage. If you... If you die... Um... If you fall and if you die, you're just dead. Also, I think if you notice I, um, from the outtakes that uh, you have zero rings. If you're hit, you're dead. And you start from the beginning. You start from the very beginning of this stage. So, yeah. Just don't die. It's really bad for you. If you hadn't noticed already. And yeah, don't get hit, don't die. You start from the beginning of this area. And considering how difficult it can be, that's no fun. I also like how he waits patiently there for you to just go through the springs, you know. He's just like, hey, this is his time where he's momentarily stuck in one area. That's no... That's no reason to attack him. I mean, we're civilized here. Come on, come on, Sonic. I almost called you Mario. I'm so used to playing my other LP, I guess. Even though it's been months. It's been months and even months before that. So, okay. I guess you have to run up the walls there. Just like, just like we did before. In order to make sure we don't die here. Alright. Not doing too poorly so far, but, I mean, the second you say that, you can just die. Oh, and the ground is rising. You can get the heck out of here. Oh god, oh! I almost was killed on the way down, that would've been awful. Okay, he's charging up. He's going to knock us out! Okay! Oh boy! Light's engulfing us, God! No! No! Oh, and he runs out of rings, and we get some creepy effect thing. Oh, yeah. This game is dark, man. This halo cracks, and... He just dies. <laughs> With the Wilhelm scream, no less. Okay, I'm just going to warn you, what's coming up next may disturb some people, especially big fans of the game. Just watch. Just watch. Yeah, it wasn't, uh... Wasn't anything too ridiculous. In fact, I actually didn't find any problem with, with that ending. It's just that, uh, you can see how a lot of people 
I think that was gratuitous, unneeded, or just, like, completely, completely unneeded in, like, a game that's supposed to be in the Sonic universe. But I was okay with that. I was okay with that ending. I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of weird, kind of throws you off guard. In fact, uh, when my cousin introduced me to this game, it's just like, the ending is kind of weird. You might not want to see it. I'm just like, I don't really have any problems with it. I mean, maybe that's why he shoves away Amy all the time. Maybe he just doesn't swing that way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, but I mean, you never see anything like that. It like, doesn't get any creepy, so... You know, whatever. So, yeah, that was Eggman Hates Furries. I thought that, on the whole, that this game was extremely fun. Which is why I didn't play it for four months. No, I'm just kidding. Or however long it was. Uh... No, what that... No, what that was, guys, is I really... I really was busy. And, um, yeah, this is a weird soundtrack, but I really was busy. I was off at college, um, and I said I, I said I would only do these. I only do these. I don't do these for subscribers. I don't do these for viewers. I did this because I was bored and needed something to do, and I thought this was fun. It still is fun, but, you know, there's a lot of other things to do, and, um, but I decided I'd finish this this one up for you guys. But I will I will let you know. I don't know when the next when my next let's play is going to be. I think I think sometime I'm going to start doing that. Um, I'm going to start doing another let's play sometime in the future. But I cannot tell you when. It may not be anytime soon. It might be May, actually, when I when I get out of classes. Uh. So, yeah, uh, just to let you know, I don't think you should do it really for subscribers or viewers. I'm going to do this when it's fun. Alright, so there you go. That was Eggman Hates Furries. And, uh, ZZ Plays, and I'll see you guys all around sometime. Oh, except one more voice voiceover for me. tails in that tank that you had to free him from as he was being experimented on. You research us only to cause our final bane. Renounce my life I would, it would be in vain. I know it is a side with him that I belong. His hands find mine when I am in my deepest pain. He verily is the first link in my memory chain. I only hope he never thinks he did me wrong. Okay guys, see you all around.